So we go to the importance of self leadership. The importance of what? So now I'm not talking about leadership. I'm talking about self self leadership. After this one, we take prayers, then we are free to go home. Hallelujah. Amen. So you sleep well. And please remember all the children. I'm having prayers with them five o'clock in the evening. Please, I hope the Sunday school teachers call the children. I'll be here by five in the evening. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. The importance of what? Now, when mommy was sharing, she told you the most important one is called self leadership. Some of us don't have self leadership. That's where the problem is. Most of us are led, but suffer from insufficiency of self leadership. You just want to be led. You just want to be led, but you can't lead yourself. You see, no one can lead you well in comparison to yourself. Tell your neighbor, no one can lead you well in comparison to yourself. You, you can lead yourself the best way possible. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Hallelujah. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I've set before you what? What have I put before you? What have I put before you? Are we there? Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. If I just shout aloud that amen. We are not there. Are we there? Can we together? One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Choose. So lead yourself to life. No one can lead you to life. The best form of leadership is you. You. You must lead yourself. Philippians chapter 1, verse 22 to 24. Philippians. Philippines. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're in Philippians chapter 1, shout a louder Amen. Philippians chapter 1, verse 22. To 24. Are you there? What does he say? One, two, three, go. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. verse twenty three. Lastly, verse 24 says, well, Nevertheless, for you. So God did not decide for Paul. He chose for him what? He had selfly leadership. Paul said, But for me to abide with you is good for you. But for Christ is better. So where you are in life, don't blame the system. Don't blame the leader. Blame yourself first. Amen. You are the leader of your life. And most people don't know that. What happens majorly to you is because of selfly. I can preach to you the word, but what you do with it is more about you. Amen? Proverbs 3, verse 31. That's why I love showing you scriptures. Amen? What happens to yourself is majorly you. It's not majorly who teaches you. Like when I was saying, Joyce Kosher said, change starts from you. Hallelujah. I can impart your life. But you need to make a decision. I will lead myself out of this problem. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Are we there? Amen. What does it say? One, two, three, go. Mm. Don't choose. So you see, don't envy the one who does something bad. You have the responsibility not to choose his what? Yes, you know what the word of God says, but God is saying you have that responsibility of not choosing his ways. Lead yourself. Tell me about lead yourself. Psalms chapter 25, verse 12. 
Psalms 25 verse 12. Psalms 25 verse 12. What does the Bible say? Are we there? Hmm? Who chooses? He chooses. He will teach his way. No, read, this, read the thing in context. He says, who is the man that fears what? Him shall he teach in the way. In which way? God will teach you in the way the one you choose. The way he chooses. Those of us who did English. If I say, him shall he teach in the way. He what? what the one you choose is what God will allow you to go. So self-leadership is very powerful. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach. God will teach that man the way he chooses. If you choose the way of prosperity, he will teach you that way. Are we clear? Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you choose the way of pain, God will give you that pain. <laughs> so don't, don't suffer your mouth to say something negative. So self-leadership, even God acknowledges self-leadership. He wants to bless you at the ability of leading yourself. So where you are right now is where you took yourself. Stop saying there's no jobs. You are the one who wants to be jobless. There are many jobs. You can sell even meat. You can sell maize. Is it true? Why are you saying I'm, you are choosing jobs? I don't understand why people choose jobs. I'm looking for this specific kind of jobs. You will run poor. You are choosing your way. That is self-leadership. You are in, you are out in the same position. So how do you lead yourself? Ask anybody how do you lead yourself? Mm? So far, tell me about are you happy with how you have taken yourself this far? Look at the neighbor and say, Ask your neighbor, are you proud of yourself? Mm? Are you proud of yourself? Clap for your neighbor if he's proud of himself. Mm? Uh, some of us are very disappointed of ourselves. Mm? The year 2000 is still with you till now, 22 years ago. You have not migrated. You see, think the same way, dress the same way, behave the same way, eat the same food. Aye. There's something wrong about your leadership. Are we clear? Not the one who's preaching to you. It's you who take. God will teach you the way you choose. Did you hear that? So I can't realize when I saw that scripture. If I choose the word path of peace, God will teach me peace. Did you hear that? But if I choose the path of war, God will give me war. <laughs> Luke chapter 2, verse 46 to 49. Let us read. I'm just showing an example of the path Jesus took. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verse 46 to 49. Please follow me keenly with this teaching. Hallelujah. It will transform you in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, yeah. It will transform you. Wait and see. Wait till I'm done. He says what? Now? Are we there? One, two, three, go. He says what? Mm -hmm. Verse 20, 47. Mm -hmm. Lastly, verse 48. Why have you done this? Eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. Actually, we are worried about you. Verse 49. Look at the climax of Jesus. What did he say? Hmm? <laughs> Some of us are over 18. You are sick blaming our mother the reason they have not progressed. Jesus was 12. He already knew his father's business. He led himself to his father's business. Ask your neighbor, how old are you? Tell your neighbor, shame on you. If you have shame. Huh? So I say, my mother is the reason I'm not making it. If my mother refused, I don't go. Ah, what do you mean your mother refused, don't go? Even me, I was a young, my mother, father, you don't even want me to come go for church. I used to tell my dad, I'm going for church programs, my friend. This is not a matter of what the Anglican or we are born from where. The Anglican is what? It's my working on my own salvation. But that told me you are you are hard headed. We say the way this Christ will take you. I say, thank you, sir, for giving me permission. Let me see this where this first Christ will take me. Twelve years old is new his father's business. Jesus was not careful to answer. Is it true? Ask your neighbor, why are you afraid to serve God? Why are you afraid to sacrifice my mother? 
my father, my brother. Some of you blame even your grandfather, great great grandfather who died. Eh? It's the reason of my great great grandfather lineage. You are for tell your neighbor it is you. Tell your neighbor you are poor because of you. Tell your neighbor you are suffering because of you. Say that your family is poor. We cannot make it. You are the one who is poor. That's why you cannot make it. Are we clear? Yes. Now, Jesus said, can't you see I'm in my father's what? At the age of 12. That's your neighbor. How old are you? Sorry, 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 sorry. Tell your neighbor, sorry, sorry. I was about to ask you that, but I'll not ask you. I can see your life. I was telling my wife today, I will not tell, I will not be influencing my daughter's decision. She needs to know how to make her decisions, knowing that you are responsible towards your success. No one is what? Stop saying that no one is helping you. You are no one who's not helping yourself. You are the one who's not helping yourself. You. Yeah. yeah. You are choosing class, yet you have no class. What class are you choosing for? When you go to school, enter the class that you did not find. Is it true? Yeah. Do you go to school and say, I want to go to class 8? Yet you had no class. Yeah? Start from somewhere. Lead yourself to something. Yes. I don't believe in these people that say, uh, I am suffering. You are not suffering. You are, sorry to say, you are a fool. You suffer because you could not lead yourself out of suffering. Ask a neighbor, why are you suffering? Ask a neighbor, why are you broke? Ask a neighbor, can you help me with 1,000 there? Or is it a prayer point? Huh? You don't lead yourself to anything. You are sitting the whole day, opening your mouth, waiting for food to eat, like a, like a chicken waiting for some manna from heaven. Yet you have hands. You, are, you have poor self-leadership. You hear Sunday teaching, yet you cannot lead yourself to anything. Ha, listen to me. I don't need anyone to encourage me to do this work. It's not about leading myself. Are we clear? It's about leading myself. Mm -hmm. What then makes us lead ourselves the way we do? Number one, the answer is simple. Perspective. Tell you about perspective. The way you lead yourself is a result of what? Perspective. Ask your neighbor, what's your perspective of life? If I see how your life moves, it's a result of perspective. Simple. Perspe the way you lead your life is because of a perspective you have. And today we shall look at four perspectives. And you tell me where do you belong in these perspectives. Now, what is perspective first? Perspective is how we view things and ourselves in a day-to-day -day scenario or environment. If you start seeing yourself fat, everyone will call you fat. Tell your neighbor, how are you fatty? Eh? You just become fat. It's perspective. When you think you are slow, everyone will say you are what? Slow. Perspective is how you see yourself. How you view things and yourself. Do you hear what I said? Not how someone sees you. Do you hear that? You own perspective. It is yours. You can't grow beyond self-leadership because it has been built on perspective. It has been built on what? How you grow in self leadership is because of perspective. Simple perspective. What's your perspective about life? What's your perspective? Romans chapter twelve verse two. It was read for us. You and you are praying the youth prayer today, and I liked it. The prayer or oh, yesterday, sorry, not today. Wow. In the second last day of the month of July, I we happy you have seen it. Can you clap for Jesus? Wow. 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 Amen. Romans 12, 2. What does it say? And you know what? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Your, your perspective will prove what is good, what is perfect and acceptable before God. Your past what? Perspective. Your perspective. How do you see yourself? Ask your neighbor, how do you see yourself? Some of you love begging, love borrowing. Eh? You love Feliza, you love, I don't know. You have a very bad perspective. You always believe you are poor. You are the least. Hi. 
Go and you suffer. Why do you why, why do you call yourself suffer? Do suffer? You know that was man you are suffering continuously. Is it true? Or what does it mean in English? Suffer is continuous tense. Present continuous tense. Present continuous what? Hey. And you are just so proud that you mean suffer. Oh yeah. And you are proud of saying that. Who bewitched you? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. What in that Gehazi? Alexander the coppersmith, the wife of Lot, Vashti, or Judas, was not their environment. Are we clear? It was not the opportunity they had. No. It was not the kind of leader they had. It was self-leadership. It was what? They never had a good perspective. The wife of Lot also never looked back. She looked back. She had a small perspective. Alexander thought she would challenge Paul because Alexander thought now he knows the Bible. He will go against the man of God. The man of God said, I've handed you to the devil. <laughs> that is very dangerous. Is it true? You have started growing knowing Christ. Said, now you think now you know more than the man of God. Oh, yeah. They possessed perspectives perspective that I could not lead them to the next level. I pray after today morning, your perspective will take you to the next level in Jesus' name. Your perspective will take you to what? So let us look at four perspectives that enforces our sense of self-leadership. Our sense of what? Mm. This one, make sure you, if you have a girlfriend eh, or a boyfriend, share with them, okay? If you have a wife, share with them. It's very important. Let them know this one. That they don't blame you for their failure. Are we clear? Most people love pointing to people everywhere. Luke chapter 10, verse 30 to 37. Let's start from there. And I'll show you four perspectives that enforce our sense. And I tell you, this is what has helped me. Are we clear? It has helped me. That's why I don't need anyone to encourage me to do anything. Or uh -uh. My this work I'm doing is very difficult, truth be told. It's a little bit challenging. But you you face it well. Hallelujah. You you do what? With joy. So how many of you want to be a man of God? I ordain you today. So I can I can vacate the office for one month. How many wish I can I'll be so glad to pass over the baton for one month? Who's willing? The, it's so simple. Let me tell you the job is so simple, eh? You sit in that office, you roll in the chair, people come there and say, How are you, Daddy? Are you clear? Then you order food if you want to order food. The money of the means is in your hand, okay? Okay. Devils just come and say hi to you. You say hi to them also. Uh you just make teachings, okay? You just lead the men. It's so easy. Who, who, who wants I can ordain you today? Ah. Huh? All of you are refusing again. Okay? I told you the job is easy. It's only one month. I'm going to give you one month. You'll be rolling around. When you arrive, we, we see you, we stand up. You only preach on Sundays. It's so easy. There's only two services. That's not difficult. Are we clear? Yeah? Who wants to? Who's willing? I can, I'm willing to pass over the button. Why are you all of you looking at me? Oh, so you have, all of you accepting is not easy. Eh? What will make you run? Yet the God who called you, don't see him. You just hear your, his voice. Say to Abraham, move. I say, move where? Where are you, sir? He said, God, have you forsaken me? You know, Jesus said, Father, Father, have you what? Forsaken me? Have you betrayed me? So that's you think God betrayed you. He did not betray you. He's just watching you. Then I came to realize here, this is a matter of perspective. If I need to move this myself to this next level, I need to have a good self-leadership. And I need to change my perspective. Let us read the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse 30 to 37. Are we ready to read? Then Jesus answered and said what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Next, verse 31. Mm -hmm. Verse 32. Mm. Verse 33. <laughs> mm. 
He had compassion. Verse 34. Very good. Verse 35. I repay you. Verse 36. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 lastly says what? Go do what? He showed you that there are three perspectives here. Now listen to me. The priest, the Levite, saw the man. They do all of them did what? But they crossed the other side? Huh? That is perspective. Are we clear? So, but this other good Samaritan, when he saw the man, he did not ignore the man. Is it true? He took the man, took him to the inn, and paid with his own money. Remember, he doesn't know this man at all. And he tells this guy, I am going. In case he uses more than is enough, I'll come back and pay. <laughs> That's a very guy's person. Is it true? How many of us will have a friend like that and who can just pay our bills? And when we come back, we can't pay. So you love, you love, how many of us have a friend like that? Who can take care of you? You love a friend like that? Is it good? Is it true? How many of us want a friend like a Levite and a priest who will see you and pass you? No, no one. Is it true? Now, I want to, today, by the time I'm done here, I want it to be like that good Samaritan, okay? Because that good Samaritan had a perspective that the priest and the Levite did not have. Listen to me. Knowing God does not change your perspective. Are we clear? Being with God is what changes your perspective. Did you hear the difference? Knowing God does not change your what? Being with God is what changes your what? You must learn how to be. The verb be Generally, if you look at the English word, is to do. Okay? Doing what God does is what changes your perspective. Those of us who remember we learned the auxiliary verb, be? How many of us remember that in primary? Hey. We thank God. I've never. You, how did you pass English? Anyway, we thank God. Testimonies are true. Amen. <laughs> Do you don't remember auxiliary, auxiliary verb B? Why it is derived and it means ah. You don't remember that? The way you passed your English lesson, Jesus knows. We will know the day of heaven. Okay? Yeah. Now, all of this, so what is perspective number one we see here? Perspective number one behaving like what is yours is mine. Behaving like what? Most of us behave like what? What is yours is what? Ask your neighbor, why do you behave like what is mine is yours? Why are you asking me it's as if it's yours? It's not your pen. And if I tell you I cannot give you, you will get angry. That's the perspective of a robber. Most of us are not working hard. We are waiting for the farm of your father in the village. You are behaving like what is yours is what? The robber came and beat the guy and so for him because he was behaving like what the guy has is smart. That's perspective number one. Most of you are waiting for the government to give you food. How many of us are waiting for the government to give you food? Yeah? Mami amepata mshara. Sio mshara ni yetu. Ni yetu. You are behaving like what is yours is what? Tell your neighbor you are a thief. If you behave like that. How many of you are behaving like that? That is the first perspective the thief had. When the thief saw the man, he said what he has is what? I just need to beat him and take it. Some of you have been stealing from your parents like that. Stealing from your children like that. What Henry has is not mine. Are we clear? Yes, it's not mine. I, that's why I will never put pressure on anyone. 
to give me anything. Never. Because I can, what you have is yours, not mine. Uh -uh. But most of us, I, is my, my wife gets salary. I'm always thinking about his salary. Hey, hey, madam, you got salary? Yeah. That is, I'm a thief. I'm stealing from her. It's a very dangerous perspective. My daddy is a blessed guy. If I have a problem, I just call him and tell him, Daddy, give me 500 shillings. He will give me. You are a thief. You see it? Eh? That's a wrong perspective. Perspective about behaving like what? What is yours is what? Everyone somehow thinks entitlement on what they never worked for. Ati ugaliangu iko wapi? Nyamangu iko wapi? And you do not even buy the meat. Eh, so mulipika chapati, mbona siniliwachua pisi moja peke yake? Why are you complaining? Why are you behaving as if what is theirs is yours? Did you contribute to the hunger? How many of us have had people fighting like that? Ati kiti yangu, hii ni kiti yangu, mina kalianga hii kiti, hii ni kiti yangu. You are a thief. It is not your chair. Stop having entitlement. Are we clear? Most of us are not working out because we believe what someone has is theirs. You are waiting for your father to die so you can have land. You are waiting for your mother to die so you can have land. Muna vum tagawana yo pesa, mtagawana wa nyumba. Muna wangoja tu shoshua kufe, mwesabu hizo nyumba zikuwa ngapi? One, two, three, mini pewe, tatu, chuko tatu. Maisha takuwa la? You are a thief. Tell your neighbor, stop being a thief. Hmm? Everyone somehow thinks that Tatima, they never worked. So they think by reason of birth, family, or church or an association, I am entitled to your food. Tell a neighbor, my plate is my plate, it's not our plate. Tell a neighbor. Mm. If someone of you say, because I'm your friend, I can eat from your plate, you are a thief. Why do you want perspective tells you that that plate is supposed to be mine also? You tell them thief. It's a and this perspective is most Christians are here. Do you have this place here? Where they think what is yours is there? Mm. Oh, you're looking at me like that. You are thinking about yourself. Most of us we see things in selfish eye, not in significance. We sit in selfishness, not even what? Selfishness is about you. Meaning that what is yours is mine. <laughs> you are selfish. And everything done should benefit me or make me comfortable first. Who told you the power is there for you? What is yours is mine. Ah, uh -uh. that's a very bad pastor. Eh? At your landlord, them dia jame zima jestima. Anazima jestima pia ye ye anazima jestima. Sangi ogodia paka kesho. The electricity is yours. Are we clear? Stop binding. I say my muga tamu paki chapo. God will punish you first. Am I speaking sense? Are you seeing that perspective here? Most of you never think about things like that. That's why I can never believe that anyone here is supposed to support me. If a kidnapper, I know a kidnapper loves me, she can bless me, Henry loves me, can bless me, because, but there's no day I will call them and say, Henry, oh yeah, uh, send me money. For where? I will never. What is his is his. It's not mine. Are we clear? If God even blesses him now with a billion every month, every week, or every hour, it is his. Are we clear? So I should not present myself as an entitlement. Henry is end month. Is how? No, I'm a thief. I'm sorry to say, most parents are thieves. They, they, hey, they, say, <laughs> they are really suffering. Amen. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Romans 5, 8. I'm telling my wife, work in a way that we will never ask our children for anything. Ever. Are we clear? Yeah, never. This perspective is what is killing us. Romans 5, 8. What does it say? But God commanded his love towards us in that while we are what yet? Christ died. Now, because someone says inside that, say, most of us are not working hard because Christ died for us. How many of us say that? Christ, Mungali to Kufia, Mimi Natulia to Mungali to Kufi? What Christ died? Christ died, so I'm not dying. 
what is his is my so his death was mine so me i'm not dying tell her neighbor you better die tell her neighbor you better die you, you better tell her you better first of point at your neighbor point push your neighbor say you better die ati munga alikufia alikufia kila kitu alikufia ugonjwa yango yote na unakunywa maziwa mbaya unakula mafuta vibaya alinikufia that death was for Christ it was not for you are we clear you die your own death tell everybody die your own death mm, yeah eh yeah. yeah. i always see people like that eh yeah. alikufa mm. msalabani Akirekea goli gotha. Unakunyo mafuta. Eh? He died for me. Nothing can affect me. I cannot be sick. Like, Why well, are you okay? Wait. We will bury you six feet under. And we say, Jesus, you died for us. This one did not die for themselves. He is coming. And it's finished. So we do not take up our yoke. The other one, people love saying, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. What is yours is mine. No, 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 no. My friend. The death Christ died, it was to set us free. Are we clear? To give us access to the Almighty. Are we clear? But I must die my own Christ, death, for me to meet the God myself. Are we clear? Mm. I can't use the death of Christ for my own way of shortcuts here. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. I know you don't like what I'm saying, but I will tell you the truth. This is your perspective. What does it say? One, two, three, go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul was talking about himself. He was not talking about you. Tell your neighbor, Paul was talking about himself. Not you. Most of us, we believe the grace of God is just available, so we don't need to push ourselves. Mimi ni mehomba ni mefunga 40 days. The grace of God is available. He will just open doors for me. My friend, you will die poor, okay? What is yours is not mine. Tell your neighbor, what is yours is not mine. I tell your neighbor, I'm so sorry for borrowing pens from you. Tell your neighbor, I'm sorry for borrowing pens. What, 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 who told you that 100 shillings is for you? That's a very bad perspective. I'm married to this beautiful young girl here, but I've never thought a man is mine. Never. Since those days, I, I say, whatever you do, you do, I've never even asked her. She, she's the one who always wants to spoil me. I say, oh, yeah, send it if you want to spoil me. I've not refused. Are we clear? Yeah, I, 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 Madam, you want to spoil me again? Today's a day, okay. Now, wait. But I will never call her and tell her, give me this. Are we clear? What is hers is hers. It's not mine. We sit down and do budget, but it's hers. So I cannot waste my own. Say there's grace here sufficient for me. Ah. That's why young girls are looking for rich men. Because what they think at what is her is his ma. Yeah. At his memoir. Yaki son yangu. My friend Utalala Chinya mattress. Work for your own. If you're next to her sister, tell your sister, work by your own. A sister, a single sister, I say, work for your own. Say, work for your own. And say, I'm a so yake ni kariake ni yangu, nyombake ni yangu. My friend, you will be like one of those commodities in that house, like a chair. Are we clear? The day you start with you, he will tell you to go back to your, yeah, to your village. Thank you, Kerapa, you're in the spirits. Yeah, so someone said the grace of God is just available, so we don't need to push ourselves. Yeah? That's why the same preacher said, by grace. By grace. No, but look at what Paul came and said. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Philippians 2 12. Stop believing what someone has, has is yours. Are we clear? Number one, can we cancel that? Your father's property is not you? It's not a mass. He gives you the title. Are we clear? Yeah, it's not a mass. It's not a mass, number one. It's not a mass. Why brethren are finding for part is because of this one. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. So ambi baba ako ile shamba ako na ako gawie. When did it become yours? Stop it. Tell your neighbor that is nonsense. Stop it. 
Mm. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always what? Not is in my presence, but no, much more in my what? Work what? Work it out. Stop saying what is yours is mine. You work out your own. Work out your own. Work out your what? So when I hear you saying at you, you come up on yangu. I say, huh? People come to church, they book chairs. You did not buy the chair, my friend. It is not your chair. We can replace you if you want to replace you. Are we clear? Mm. Mm. That's why I don't love seeing handbags on chairs during Sunday service. One day we will tell the ashes to, to, to put your handbag outside there. Come and sit there behind. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26. Work out your own what? Work it out. So I say, what is yours is mine. My father, my brother's income is not mine. Some of you feel is my is a master your brother to help you. When did he say this salary is yours? When? When did your brother's salary become yours? When? When? Even me, I cannot date a girl who can tell me that my money is ours. I will I'll bind you. First of all, I'll bind you and lose you. I wake up Monday to Friday and, and you tell me my money is yours. Who bewitched you, my friends? It's not like that. Independence. And I love, thank God, when I met my young girl, my girlfriend here. She was independent. Can you clap for my girlfriend? Hallelujah. Anyway, she's used to me. Hallelujah. You know, mommy is so reserved. Me, I'm very atomic. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, <laughs> Amen. First Corinthians 9 26. What does he say? Therefore, not with what? Thus I fight. Uh -uh. I am not depending on you. I will ever come and say, Your money is mine. Uh -uh, it's not mine. It's not mine. That's why I always say, either you give, you don't give, the church will continue. Because I'm not dependent on you. Are we clear? You give for your own benefits, not for the man of God's benefit. Don't Henry came and said, yeah, we, are continue. we are giving for the church, not for the man of? Because it's not his. I cannot come and say, well, your man is mine. There's no way. When you want to live long with people, change that perspective. Are we clear? Then it will make you lead yourself better. Some of us work with a plan. My friend, no, don't do that. If you are planning something, sit down, plan, knowing that what someone else has is not what? It's not yours. Change that perspective. I'm taking you to town. You are going to town. I should not assume you will pay for my fare. Wangapa na nyangu matatu, unadhani utalipia fare? Huh? I ask you, we meet in town. You want me to be, pay for your plate. And you're the one who ordered food. My friend, pay for your plate. Pay for it. So you're the one who's chewing it. Well, I was looking at you as you're eating and you're licking your fingers. Taking it you're wiping your mouth. Now, pay for it the way, you, the way you chewed it. Why is it written that it's a master pay for your meal? Unless I told you I will pay for your meal? If I did not tell you, my friend, I ordered mine. You ordered yours by your own mouth. Is it true? As you ordered it, you should have known the equivalent of your pocket. Yeah, to me, you have a matatu. So, leap a fair. Eh? <laughs> no, I will not pay a fair, my friend. Unless I. You see, that most of us feel the obligation because we are not changing people's that mindset. Are we clear? Tell your neighbor what is yours is not mine. And what is mine is not yours. Mm. You see. Please note, what is here or in your family, in your business or your workplace and more isn't what? Yours. Lead yourself to creation ability. Lead yourself to what? Creation what? Not only possessing me ability. Learn to be creative. Create your own solutions. Create your own what? My income is not a must. I give you money. Why is this really I must give you money? I will not give you. What will you do? Call me stingy. That's up to you. Some of us just wait. Especially these young people who don't work and they wait for their parents to bring food in their mouth. You are a youth. Even I asked Miriam when to see your parents. Did you carry anything for your parents? You go sit there, you just consume over 18. All that you are eating. And you say, Kuna mboke me baki. Are you ashamed? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Akuna chuvi. So chuvi. I'm telling the truth. I will salt you myself. 
you are going to your parent of 18. Carry something. Carry. Are we clear? Yes. When they buy unga, buy mboga. When they buy mboga, buy liver. When they buy liver, buy oil. You are just sitting there like a, like a visitor. Even our hotel you pay. Is it true? I, I cannot allow you. You are sitting in my house. You are just consuming. You are over 18. Your head is... Look at your neighbor. Check if his head is working. Those are people who think what is yours is what. That's why most parents nowadays are having pressure. Because young people are not realizing what your parent has is not yours. I say you are going to your parents. Don't go empty-handed. Do shopping to push them. Hallelujah. It's a catch. I have seen that from my wife, especially when she goes home. She will do shopping. She will. If she wants to say she will put money in the envelope. Some of us go sit there, we consume, even we eat than the owners of the house. You just hear to Belgium. Uh, uh, people are Belgian from eating someone's food. Those of us who have been eating your parents' food like that, I pray may God forgive you in Jesus' name. You're not saying amen. Okay. <laughs> contribute. Do what? Even when I was living with my parents, I used to contribute. I used to pay electricity bill. I used to pay water bill. I used to buy food. I used to do shopping per month. I be still living my I was working before I moved to my own house. Adult over 18, you are consuming what my mother has is hers. Her salary is mine. I may have my money. Let me save my own money. My friends, I will not keep you in my house. Even me, everyone who has lived with us, I will ask them, what did you contribute? I always tell them, give to mommy. You must contribute. If you can't contribute, pack your luggage, go to where you came from. Are we clear? Yeah, I don't want a lazy adult in the house. And that catches what is killing us still now. We believe because you have an elder brother, you will not work hard. You're waiting for elder brother to supply for. for you. That's the mistake. And parents, those who are here, don't, don't encourage your children such nonsense. I cannot allow you. I, me, I cannot allow you. I'll ask you what are you contributing. Yeah, I'll ask you. So, over 18 people, you look at me, they want to look at me. You're going to do elections, you're going to vote. Is it true? As you go to your village, please carry things. Are we clear? Mm. Don't go and sit in your mother's house and eat as if you are a young child. Philippians 4, verse 13. Believe God for creation ability. When you have believe God for creation ability, you will never desire what someone has. Now, that one propels you to self -lead leadership. Yes, because you don't want to say what belongs to someone is mine. No. It cultivates you to self leadership. We're going somewhere with my father in love and my mother in love with my wife. I put fuel in the car. I say, Baba, how much will it cost? I say, how much is it? I say, let me give money for fuel. We go to a restaurant. I say, let me pay the bill. I'm not sitting there just waiting for them because they have money, they will chop. They will chop. Uh -uh. It's their money. Are we clear? What is theirs is not what? It's not that they cannot give, they can give, but it is theirs. That's why I love Henry. Henry. Henry, I'll go with him, Henry. Henry takes responsibility. doesn't treat me like what I have in my pocket must be his. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. That's why I would, if you realize I've stopped working with you, remember there's something, a symptom called what you think mine is yours. Amen? It's not yours. Are we clear? It is not what? I bless you because I want to bless you. Uh -huh. Can you change your friends from today in Jesus' name? Philippians 4, what does it say? I can do what? So you can do it. Stop believing on someone. Now, when you start thinking like that, you'll go today and find a solution. Amen? You are in school. You can get online jobs to do there. So, that's why I wonder this generation waits to graduate to get a job. What are you doing in your time? You can get jobs. You used to write, I believe, when you were still in campus. That's what you used to get offering from. Hmm? Even if you used to eat in your sister's place. Hallelujah. We thank God you used to contribute. Hallelujah. Say, take something. I used to tell you, buy something. I live in summer. Buy. Yeah, buy. Amen? That, that is the solution. So that if you are given or not, invited or not, considered or not, it does not affect 
tell your neighbor what is yours is not mine and what is mine is not yours uh -huh. that is the first perspective how many of us have friends who have this perspective what is yours is mine how many of us have children who have believed what is yours is mine? And how many of you are like that kind of culture? You, have, you behave like that. You think what is in your parents' house is yours. How many of us believe in that? You are waiting for your parents to die. See the kind of prayer you are praying. Father, let them die. Ah. No. What is theirs is theirs. It's not yours. Number two, perspective. What is mine is mine. <laughs> that is what now the Levite and the priest had they crossed over the other side they believe what is theirs is what now this kind of mentality also has a problem perspective what is mine is what if you check people like this they are not givers they can't give to church they only say if I give money I will not have fire to go home if I give money I cannot support mm -mm. The Levite and the priest mentality. What is mine is what? That perspective is focused on you and nothing else but you. When I serve you food, eat, hungry, or even take a photo, or serving in church, and more, is just what? How many of us have gone to a wedding and said, How many of us have done that? If you take a selfie right now, you look for the photo that you are looking Look at ah ah, your picture in a mimi, you sent to money into money in Kopekango. Or even if I send you the photo, you delete the rest, you remain with yours only. How many of us have done that? Yeah, that is the perspective of the Levites and the priest. What is mine is mine. Where we come to Kabiba Shaudia? And most of us think like that. And that's why most of us even are raising our children like that. You're telling your children, what is yours is yours. Don't give, don't share. Ah! That's how a child grows with that mentality. And this is a mentality that leads to poverty. My chair, my spot in the house. Gideon and Moses possess such a perspective. And God needed to correct it. The book of Exodus chapter 4, verse 12 to 14. Are you following me? Tell your neighbor what is yours is yours, but don't be selfish. Hmm? Don't be selfish. My book, my trouser, my shoe, my... Hey. Even in your bed, there's a sleeping position which is called yours. Even if you have a vision, this is my side, oh yeah, move the other side. Huh? Exodus 4, 12. Can we say? Now, therefore, go and I'll be with you. Do you have what he's saying? I'll be with you. What? Now, look at what Moses told God. Verse 13. What did he say? One, two, three, go. What does he say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whomever else you may what? Oh Lord, please send my hand. Whomever else you may what? Verse 14, what, does the, what was God's reaction? Yeah. Moses, God was so disappointed. He would have healed Moses immediately of his stammering. But because Moses said, it is my mouth. Are we clear? God left him like that place. Every time you think what is yours is yours, you never progress. I can give this quote to anyone. I've, I've given a lot of things. I, uh, most of you cannot... Umeshkilia vest ya kitambo. Ulibnoa vest 1997 ukizaliwa. Paka Look at just your neighbor. What is it that you're still loving in your house that is not even fitting you? You are a lady, you are, you are given a dress. Nowadays, if you wear it, it looks like a mini skirt, but you will not give it. Yeah? Judges chapter 6, verse 14 to 16. Judges 6, 
Moses said, is my mouth. God said, I will be with your mouth. Moses said, no. I cannot do it. Send me someone else. Judges 6, 14 to 16. Look at Gideon. What is my name? Stop up that mentality. Anything can be given. Are we clear? Any? Mine. It's mine. You buy a child a chips. They say it's my chips. And they don't know how to pay for it. Is it true? Tell them never stop childish mentality. And you're the one who bought it. Even you cannot test it now. Even and they will cry, even there will some assault. And they're the one who bought it. They don't know where the money came from. That's how some of us are behaving. That's why to give, you cannot give God even offerings. You cannot give people clothes. You cannot give food because you say what is mine is what? Poor mentality. What does he say, verse 14? One, two, three, go. The Lord turned him to him and said, Look at Gideon's reaction. Verse 15. What does he say? He's looking at himself. What did God say? God was nice. He said, he said to him, I'll be with you. Because God said, now, why is Gideon behaving like this? God has given you a car. You're saying, I cannot use that car for church. I will not. God has given you a, a laptop. They need it in church. You say, I will not give my laptop to church. God has given you talent. You say, oh, this is my talent. They don't pay me in church. I can't use it in church. If they pay me, I will do it. Now, you see, you have a problem. You have a what? The mind perspective makes us hinder God and make him wonder, yet he's the source. How many of us believe God is our source? Tell a neighbor you don't have anything that is called mind. Mm. James chapter 1 verse 17. Look at this one. James 1 17. This is a perspective we need to change. I don't believe mine is mine is mine is mine. The only thing that is mine is my wife. <laughs> my children are not mine. Are we clear? Even her, she's not mine. Even is God. God can decide anything with her. Are we clear? Yes. I don't own anything. Sauce. My shoe. My bread. My tea. My thermos. How many of us have my thermos? My sophuria? How many of us have my plate? My spoon? Why did you use my spoon? How many of us used to have my plate? Till now you have my plate. Why are you pretending as if you don't know? You know yourselves. Is it true? Look at your neighbor's face. You can tell. Mm. My plate. <laughs> James 1.17. What does he say? James 1 17. And I want you to read this one now loudly. First of all, everyone to stand up, you read it one when you are standing up. So you can it can enter you. Yeah. And this is your memory verse for today night. Memory verse? James chapter 1. And it says. Every what? Every what? And every perfect is from where? As and tell anybody did not come with anything. So there's nothing called mind perspective. Clap yourself as you have your seat. Hallelujah. It is mind because of perspective, and the perspective can change when it sees the saw, the source. Some of us is my book. It's my plate. Why are you crying about your plate? God can give you another plate. Is it true? I'm asking the truth. Yeah. My socks. My shoe. Hey. My coat. Ask your neighbor, have you ever given anything out? Ask your neighbor, have you ever given anything? Maybe keep Matambara. Number three. 
perspective that activates your self leadership. Okay? What is mine is yours and we can enjoy together. What is mine is what? That is the good Samaritan's perspective. What is mine is yours and we can what? That one will propel yourself because you will know what I have is also to bless other people. Is it true? Yes. When you get a job, yeah, you buy a meat. And if you buy chicken, you should ask yourself if you're a man of God eating chicken. Yes. Or, or that one is now a problem. Because you have more, what is mine is mine. Or because I say what is yours is yours. Ah. Amen. What is mine is yours and we can enjoy what? That is the mentality of a good Samaritan that activated his self-leadership. Amen. This perspective can make you soar in new heights. Can make you what? It is a supply mentality. It is a what? That, that I know I have more to use with you. I can spend with you. Most of us don't have that mentality. That what I earn is yours. And we can enjoy together. Most of us is what I earn is mine is mine. Even I give God coins. You don't plan for offerings. You don't plan to give anything. It is a supply and more than enough perspective. Supply and what? That's why every month I give. There's no way a month will end without me blessing someone. I will bless someone. One way or another, I'll bless someone. Ask your neighbor, this month, who have you blessed? With money. I never remember with money. Not with words. I know you have told many people, God bless you. Tell your neighbor, people don't eat oxygen. People breathe it. <laughs> Yes. John chapter 17 verse 7. What is mine is yours and we can enjoy together. When we think like that, it will cultivate your self-leadership. You will realize when I'm working hard, I need to think also about other people who can be a blessing. So you will take your life responsible to her. You will consider others when you're doing things. Hallelujah. John 17 7. What does it say now? Now they have known that are from you. Are from you. Now they know. How did they know? Because he shared what he had. Hallelujah. He shared what he had. Some of you are working, even your parents don't know if you are working. Because the way you live, you just live in the same formula. You will never show them you are working. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18. Bad, bad children, eh? Second Corinthians 5 18. And all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus and he has given us to the ministry of what? He has given to us the ministry. How will he reconcile people by the all things he has given to us? Are we clear? That's why we give people food here. We bless people. We are reconciling them to God. Those who are hopeless, we are making them reconcile to God. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. I'm giving you scriptures. You don't say that, hey, that he's saying that what is money is ours, but there's no scripture. <laughs> you go read Tell anybody what is yours is ours. <laughs> Tell anybody your salary is ours. Eh? Tell anybody your profit is ours. Tell your neighbor. Why have you tell your neighbor? Tell her that it only takes a supply mentality to do such a thing. Are we clear? If you don't have a supply mentality, you cannot do such a thing. Yeah, you cannot. You will always say, I, if I give, I will not have enough. Mm -mm. What does he say? One, two, three, go. According. All uh, uh, he has given us all things that pertain life and what? So that you must have a supply mentality to know that what is mine is yours for us to what? Enjoy. Amen. That's what they made the Philippians church bless their man of God. Philippians 4 16. Amen. 
Philippians 4. What does the Bible say? Hmm? For my necessities. Amen. For even Thessalonica, you said aid once and what? There were no blessing the man of God only once. There were continuous blessing Paul. He was ministering to them. He was praying for them. They were blessing him. Not that today at the man of God something last year, January. Watch out. Next year, January. What is yours is what? I was reading and listening to a story by John Maxwell. He was saying, one pastor was testifying on behalf of John Maxwell. He said, he bought John Maxwell a diary uh, for the year. The way people get diaries a buy for a year. But John Maxwell does not use diaries. So what John Maxwell did is he wrote down every day, every page a message. The following year, he gave him back the diary. The diary and he had written things that his father has taught him. And the man, John Maxwell told him that when you give God something, he gives you in a better way. Are we clear? Yeah, a lesson. So every day he was writing a message for the man of God. Every day. Every day. Every day he was writing a message. Imagine. What you give make possible for one, God make it possible for you. Are we clear? Number two, we see they made it, they, that's why they're able to give to the temple. What he was saying here, give it to the house of God. First Kings chapter 5, from verse 5 to 8. Let, let us read this one. When you have this supply, what I have is ours to what? Enjoy. The church giving program will be easy. You are paying your tithes. How many of us pay tithes here? You pay tithes? Are you sure? You see, if you add 10 shillings, one shilling belongs to God. Are we clear? You add 100 shillings, 10 shillings belongs to what? But some of us consume everything. What does it say? First Kings chapter 5, verse 5 to 8. From verse 5, what does it say? 1, 2, 3, go and behold. My God, as the Lord spoke to my father David, saying, Your son, whom I will send. In your place, he shall build the house for my name. Verse 6. What does it say? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's like the Sidonians. And look at the reaction. Verse 7. What does it say? And verse 8, what did he do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen to that. He said, what is mine is a... Can you stand up on your feet? Tell, five, tell everyone, what is yours is mine. Mm, tell them. What is mine is ours for us to enjoy. To enjoy. Make sure you are there what to enjoy. Mm. Tell her I'm watching you. Mm. Have you told them? Tell them I'm waiting. I'll be waiting. If this church is not progressing, it's because of you. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, have your sins in the name of Christ Jesus. So, for you to operate in this kind of leadership, you must be a person who sees plenty and not scarcity. Tell them never see plenty, not scarcity. They don't think inconvenience, but the solution and the change it brings. Are we clear? When I give my offering, when I give God 5,000, I'm not seeing the inconvenience it brings in my project. I see that the changes that will bring to the church project. Are we clear? Imagine when you have the church already built. How many people will be changed? So don't, don't be afraid to give. People don't have a supply mentality of fear. Amen? Philippians 4 verse 19. Philippians 4 19. 
May you possess a supply mentality. That's a perspective that will change your self-leadership. What is mine is yours for us to what? Enjoy. That's why I know it's a good thing to bless people. I, I think supply. I don't think scarcity. I don't think scarcity. Amen? What does it say? Philippians 1, 4, 19, 1, 2, 3, and my God? Yes. He was saying that Thessalonians in Philippians church, may God be supplied because you have already a supply mentality. May God now supply. Are we clear? Yes. You have a supply mentality. What is yours is mine for us to what? Enjoy. Imagine if we do that, how many children can we take to school here? Some of us are working. Stop saying mine, mine. Or what is yours just mine. No. It is what is mine is yours. For us to what? Enjoy. And lastly, number four. What is mine is not mine, but to manage for his glory. Did you hear that? What is mine is what? Yes. I know what is mine is not mine. But I'm here to manage the money God gives me every month for his glory. Are we clear? So I invest in the right things. Are we clear? Because what is mine is not mine, but to manage for his what? So every money I earn, I know it's not mine. God believes in co-laborship. God believes in what? Co-laborship. God wants to work with you. God wants to work with you. Write that down. God wants to work and work with you. God wants to work and work with you. When you have this mentality, that's how you work on your leadership. Are we clear? That's why Jesus says, oh, for my own self, I can do nothing. Amen? Having and knowing that your self-leadership only thrives on what isn't yours, including money, children, business, and more. So I know I don't thrive because it is mine. I thrive because what is mine is not mine, but I am money. So I'm working with someone. I'm in partnership with someone. I'm in partnership with someone. This kind of self-leadership has to do with partnership with heaven. Tell me about partnership with heaven. Possess a partnership mentality with God. You will always have a great perspective. Amen? I don't tithe or give for supplies. Are we clear? I don't serve God to be healed. I don't bless the man of God to obtain favor or to give to the church because one day they will come through to me. No. I do it because I'm in partnership with God. I mean what? What is mine is not mine but to manage for his what? Glory. It is our perspective of what? Walking and working with what? With God. That was the main order from the beginning. Did you know that? God wanted to walk and work with man. Walk and what? Genesis chapter 2 verse 19. Genesis 2 19. Da -da -da. Are you being blessed? Genesis 2 19. If you just shout aloud, Amen. Let us eat together. One, two, three, go. Out of the ground. Yeah, the field. Every bird of the air. And brought them to what? He brought them to Adam. God is making you make money and he brings it to you. He brings what? To you. Then what did he say? To see what you want. When you call that seed a seed, when you call it a fruit, God will never disagree. And whatever Adam called, each living thing, what happened? Did you have that power? God wants to work with you. God wants to work with you. What is mine is not mine. Because what? I am managing for his glory. What is mine is not what? I am managing for his glory. So I cannot say Dickens is mine. No. Dickens is not mine. I'm just managing Dickens for God's glory. Are we clear? So I cannot, I cannot make him get offended for no reason. I cannot lie to him. I'll be honest with him. I'll be a true father to him. 
Because what is his is his. What is mine is mine. No. What is mine is for him to enjoy. And also I need to know what is mine is not mine is for God. For me to account to God. Amen. Your relationship, your friendships and more will enjoy breath if you have this kind of mentality. Will enjoy what? Breath. Why you are finding hard to relate with people be in that relationship is because you think that relationship is yours. Tell your neighbor that relationship is not yours. You are managing it for the God's glory. Mm. Genesis chapter 5 verse 22-24. Let us read that one. This one we must stand. This is memory verse. Can we be on our feet? Tell your neighbor memory verse. Genesis chapter 5 can you say like children chapter 5, chapter five. Verse, 22. verse 22 and it says what how many years who walked with God for 300 years who three armor 300 years. Ask your neighbor, how long have you worked with God? Or even have you started? Ask your neighbor, even have you started? And he had what? Sons had what? Let us read verse 23. Amen. What does verse 23 say? So it's only 65 years of his life he didn't work with God. But 300 years he worked with God. And look at verse 24. <laughs> What happened? God took him. Imagine 65 years out of 365. He was walking and walking with God until he was no more. How many of us want to walk with God until we are no more? When I read the scripture, I was ashamed. I'm not lying to you. 65 years, but you said 300 years with God. Ask a neighbor, have you started working with God? And what did they tell you? <laughs> you say you're a Christian. Have your seat, hallelujah. You are thinking about it, eh? eh? Think, think. God wants to work with you because Enoch said, what is mine is not mine, but it's for you. I manage for your glory. I manage for your what? Psalms 24 verse 1. Look at this. Psalms 24 verse 1. Are you being blessed? When you have this mentality to change your leadership, because I know what is mine is not mine, is for God's glory for me to manage. Is it true? So I, I, my, the way I lead myself, I know ah, what am I mine is not mine. It's not, it's not for God. Psalms 24 verse 1. What does it say? 1, 2, 3, go. A psalm of David. The earth is and it's what? The world and those that what? So what you have belongs to God and his fullness. Tell your neighbor, your clothes belongs to God. God can hit you with thunder now and walk naked. Do you know that? <laughs> Tell your neighbor, God can hit you with thunder and find yourself walking naked. What is yours is yours. So, watch out what you. How many of us have best, best clothes? My best clothes, I only wear it on. May you not wake up in the morning and you find a rat ate at it. <laughs> if God asks you to give that coat, give it out. Are we clear? What is man is not man. It is given to God for me to manage for his what? Glory. Because God wants to walk and work with me. Amen. You see now, this one will change your self-leadership. You will just not lead yourself carelessly. The perspective will influence your steps, association, your reaction, character and more. It is for your improvement. John 3.27. Let us all see John 3.27. Ah, this is another memory verse. Can you be on our feet? Hallelujah. This one is a powerful one. John chapter 3 verse. Uh, uh, we say a memory verse. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor you did not come with anything. It was given to you. Did you hear that? 
Obviously, it's hallelujah. Clap for Jesus, hallelujah. When you have this mentality, you will lead yourself in a different way. Are we clear? You will know what I have is normal. It was given for me to manage for his glory. So you see, I cannot have a problem in giving when I have this mentality. Are we clear? I cannot have a problem in serving God because what I have is not mine. It is given for me to manage for his words. This perspective defines how you do things and serve even God. How you do things and even what? When you know what you have is to be managed, we shall be quick to give show up, you will never be being looked for for coming for prayers. You will always be there. <laughs> Serve, you'll be available, you'll be dedicated, you will think multiplication, you will honor and more. I'm asking the truth. Yes, when you know that, you will, you will lead yourself. You know, but, but the time I have is given for me from God. It's me to manage for his what? For his glory. The clothes I have, the job I have, the energy I have, that's why I don't understand when someone says I cannot wake up. It's too early for me to wake up to come to church. What do you mean it's too early? You are a liar. You don't know what you have belongs to him. You are supposed just to manage it for his glory. Can I give you scriptures now? Romans 8.28. Look at this. I always give you a lot of scriptures so you can see what I'm telling. This is what influences me. Romans 8.28. If you just shout a louder, Amen. What does it say? One, two, three, go. Tell your neighbor, things are not working for good because you don't love him. Because if you love him, what is yours, you will not be yours. But it will be yours to manage for the glory of God. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> all things work out for good. For them that love him. For them that love him. What is mine is not mine. He's just given for me to manage for his glory. Are we clear? That's why I'm not surprised. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I manage for his glory. Amen. Second Corinthians 6.1 Uh -uh, this is a good memory of us. Be on your feet. Hallelujah. You today you'll do a lot of memory. Of us. And I'll ask you how many memory of us you have done. If you forget, you will stay here till tomorrow. Are we clear? <laughs> Amen. Memory of us. He says. We are workers together with who? We are working with God. We are working with God. You are working with God. Don't receive that grace of prosperity in vain. Are we clear? Don't receive that grace to be to be strong in vain. Are we clear? Don't receive that grace to be in, very good in talking in vain. The grace God has put for you is not in what? It's for you to work with Him. What is yours is not yours. It is His for your management for His glory. Are we clear? Some of us are taking things in vain. Have your seats. Hallelujah. Ephesians 4.16. Ephesians 4.16. You see, when I knew this one, I knew my grace is not just for me to waste it. Yeah. Ephesians 4.16. Are you being blessed? Wow. Perfect. What does it say? From whom? In love, we are joined together. That's why it helps the growth by the sake of love. Are we clear? We are joined. So when you start saying it's my money, God, you wait, I'll give you my tithe next time. You eat tithe, you say I'll pay my tithe next time. I will just compensate. You are a liar. Tell anybody stop compensating tithe. Man. This perspective will make you a river of life. Will make you what? A tree planted bearing fruit in season and out of what? And I read today Psalms chapter 1 verse 3. 
and it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth this fruit in sea and his leaf shall not wither whatsoever he doeth shall what prosper which perspective do you like from the four I've given you which one do you like which one do you like which perspective do you like hallelujah are you blessed today night yes 